What's going on guys, AFCB TV here on the match review of Bournemouth 2, Burnley 1. We are into the top 10 of the Premier League, a very great season for us. The highest position we will finish ever in football history for Bournemouth. And it's been, it's been a very good season, absolutely. Um, it's, been, it's been like one where we've enjoyed and there's been a... We've had the highs and lows, getting a bit worried through rele um, potential relegation dogfight to definitely being clear quite a few games ago. So it's all right. And it's just been one of those seasons where a lot of actions happened, been really great games like Liverpool at home, an amazing result. But we're here to talk about Burnley game. Um, very good game indeed. Uh not really much to talk about. I finished two one. It was just like one of those kind of Stoke games, better than the Stoke game. Uh, but honestly, in my opinion, I feel King could have had a better game. weren't one of his best. Yes, he did get the winning goal, but it weren't one of the performances I would say that would have deserved him the man of the match. To be honest, uh, I feel like he used too much time on the ball few too many touches maybe but he did at the end finally got into com composed lovely ball in from Fraser and slots underneath Tom Heaton did look offside to be honest but uh good run good good times run indeed uh the first goal came from Junior Stanislas an easy lovely slotted ball round um Tom Heaton it's just like one of those tap-ins and from my angle in the north end on the around uh, close to the family stand um, it just looked like it was just going to, like, he hit it. And it's just at that pace where it's like, oh, it's going to go wide. And then you just see it creep into the bottom left-hand corner, and it was just like, oh, it's gone in. It's absolutely brilliant. And it was just like, Burnley, they didn't they didn't look like... Uh, I don't know. So uh, I can see where they haven't got many points from picking up away this season. They looked a completely different side than they did at Turf Moor. Their defence looks shocking. It was like Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough looked great at the Riverside. Came to Bournemouth, went all wrong. And it's not all wrong for Burnley. But Burnley, I can see, they are... They, there is something about Burnley. Um, and to be honest, I don't know if Burnley will be a Premier League side in, um, when it comes to the end of next season. But that's for another time. That's really where transfers will have to come in about it, really. But, um, yeah, so then Burnley did get their goal through Sam Vokes, one, um, one of our old players. Uh, a lovely little header. He, he's, he's a lot more built now. I, I know it's from when he was at Bournemouth. And he, he was just like one of those aerial threats. He moved a lot around the ball. It's, it was one of these times... Boric or Heaton, no, Heaton kicks it from the goal kick. Vokes was a, a, a dis, quite a big distance away from the ball. And he just ran for it. And, like, he targeted it out. He got, he made himself big, jumped in the air and got the ball. And the aerial threat really came into effect. 83rd minute, he got the header into the left side of goal to make it 1-1. But parties didn't uh, last long for Burnley as we did score. And he, um, go back ahead two minutes later. But it's all ended. We are safe again. We were safe a few weeks ago. But uh, 45 points. We're in the top 10 on the same points as both Southampton and West Brom. But I think looking at things, on the lowest point we will potentially end up is 12. Yes, Watford can beat us, but... I'm confident that Watford won't pick up a single point in these next two games. Chelsea and Man City, maybe one point, I don't know, but I'm I'm confident we will finish as low as 12th. I mean, when it comes to Leicester next week, I can't, I really, I, I honestly can't see much more than a point from that game, but we'll talk more about that. What are your guys' thoughts of the game? And also, I was thinking about this, um, i going to bring this up, Lewis Cook. He was first. Lewis Cook has done amazing for every game. First fifteen minutes, after that fifteen minutes, he looked like right. I've made made a few mistakes, lost the ball, um, silly, and he just like 
doing doing things correctly and I can see Lewis Cook really, really fighting. And I'd like him to start more than maybe Andrew Sermon. But let's have a look at summer transfers. What is going to happen? And yeah, wait and see. What, what are you guys' thoughts of the game? Put it down in the comments. Up and from AFCP TV. Leicester City up next at the King Pass Stadium to finish off the season. I've been Matt from AFCP TV. If you want to watch more football play content, subscribe down to the channel. I've been Matt and I'm out.